Hello one and hello all. And today we're discussing a topic that I find to be quite how should I put this annoying and stupid. <laughs> this is flat earthers. If you don't know what a flat earther is, a flat earther is a person who thinks that the flat that the flat that the earth is flat. And sadly my freaking my dad's mother, aka my grandmother, aka my mom's mother in law. <laughs> sadly, she is a flat earther. And yeah. Here, how, here's how I'm going to explain why it's stupid. <laughs> so, we have tons of evidence that the Earth is not flat. And that is a globe. This is a bad example because I'm strong. Let's put some density. See, it's, it's a globe like this. Except it's, see, globe. See, and it's... Spins, except on one direction. <laughs> um, anyway, so what is most commonly believed? The most common belief with flat earthers is that there is an ice wall surrounding the edge so that water can't fall out and neither can travelers on the ocean. And I say that this wall is Antarctica. First of all, they have no proof of this. They just say it. And that's it. They just say it without any proof. I've heard one piece of evidence someone proving this. And then I debunked it. <laughs> it was from my grandmother. Yeah, grandmother. Um, she said that it took this one guy two and a half years to travel across Antarctica. i go around it. One problem with this, you can't go around a wall if you're inside the wall. <laughs> so, I literally debunked her only piece of evidence regarding the old Antarctica thing. They never provide any evidence of it or anything like that. Next up, gravity. Gravity would take a flat object and then collapse it into a ball so that it has the least amount of surface area taken up. A good way to think about it is take a piece of paper, crumple it up. It naturally turns into a spherical object. I'll get some proof. Here is my proof. Here's a piece of paper that I've already crumpled up prior to this to see if it is true. So Pump it up, and it is somewhat spherical. Pump it up more. In the end, it is spherical. It's a rugged sphere, but it's sphere nonetheless. The gravity would make it a perfect sphere, so that any edges jutting out would then be flattened and turn the globe. Yeah. Let's see here. Flat Earthers like say that gravity is not a thing. They just say that the reason why people fall or things fall back down to the earth is because of weight and density. And they say that since the object that fell is denser than the air surrounding it, then it fell down. It's also heavier than the air surrounding it, you know? Problem with this, weight doesn't mean anything without gravity. Gravity times stuff and stuff acceleration basically the heavier you are the faster gravity will pull you down so weight times acceleration times gravity you get the idea i don't know how to explain it it's just if you're heavy you fall down faster because of gravity not because you're heavy take space when you're in space you can have like four even be 400 pounds because you have all the gear on and you're a heavy set man but since there's no gravity you just float around so yeah, and also, I like to say that the pictures of the Earth 
have all been photoshopped with CGI and stuff like that. Yet they make no proof as to how it's been photoshopped. They just say it. That's how flat earth is all. They, they make these claims, but they have no proof to back it up. And they'll deny any evidence proving it wrong. Which is why it makes me so angry. <laughs> Yeah, and now I thought you'd hear about a 12-year-old being triggered about Flat Earth. <laughs> Astronomy is now even my biggest thing. Now, if you take a vacuum chamber, like a vacuum sealed chamber, with no air inside of it, objects will still fall, so disproving the whole it being denser than the air surrounding it. How can you be denser than the air surrounding you if there's no air? Gravity pulls it down. Another claim that they made was how um, magnets can overpower the Earth's force. This is quite simple. It's a small object. Okay, he was showing a magnet attracting a paper clip. And the heavier an object is, the more gravity will pull it down. But if it's a light object, it can easily be overpowered I'll get some more proof so I have two objects here a Yu-Gi-Oh card and a suction cup one is obviously lighter than the other that being the Yu-Gi-Oh card you didn't see it I'm gonna point the camera Um, back, hammer points down, okay, watch this, this one fell faster, because it's heavier, so the heavier an object is, the faster it will fall down due to gravity. If it's a light object and there's a another force pulling at it at the same time, for example, magnetism, it will be pulled up and it'll just stay there. Anyway. So yeah, they make a lot of claims, but they never back it up with anything. <laughs> they make the claims, throw some science in there. And then we debunk the science. They also say that there is no proof of there being a curve of the Earth. This can easily be debunked. Okay. Okay, so I got a picture of the Earth here. So zoom in. You can clear. You can see a slight curve. It's slightly curving upwards. On the edge of it, you can definitely see a slight curve there. So we do have proof of a curve. I only I looked at like thirty seconds. I just had to scroll down to make sure I didn't get full size pictures of the earth and I was like the first close up shot of the earth I could find, if not the second one. The first one was still somewhat far out. Um, that was the first close-up shot that I could find. So, yeah. So, there is a proof of a curve. Let's see here. Also, stars vanishing in and out of view. Because the Earth is spinning. So, it spins, and the stars don't spin with it. They also made this other claim that the sun acts like a spotlight and only um, um like shines on some parts of the earth at a time, which is why there's like day and night and stuff. But this would make no sense. Okay, let's just say that this is the flat earth and here's the sun shining on it. We could see the sun from all times if the earth truly was flat but we can't see it at night because it's behind the earth which is a sphere 
So yeah, you can't deny any of this. And some people also said, well, why don't we feel like we're upside down when we're in Antarctica and Australia? Here's why. Because gravity. <laughs> okay? Gravity makes it so that you adjust. Okay? The human body adjusts to gravity. And the gravity adjusts you to your position so that you can stay in a stable position no matter where you are. For example, I live in Florida, so I should feel like I'm sideways all the time. But I never feel like that because gravity was kind of thirty. <laughs> but yeah. And fly letters are just wrong and I'm a freaking I'm a twelve year old but be thirteen year old debunking all this evidence. <laughs> You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself. I ca I cannot wait to read these comments. It's <laughs> gonna be so many people who are just kind of like the first the, the flat Earth. The Earth is flat. Sorry. <laughs> the Earth is flat because this and this and this and this. <laughs> and to that, I'm just gonna say, okay, response video. Here it comes. <laughs> so yeah. Earth ain't flat. Earth is globe. Bad example. <laughs> yeah. So if you've enjoyed this video, you can leave a like or subscribe if you like it. Or leave a comment down below if you have anything to say about it. And until next time, I will see you later, buddy. Bye bye.